Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's budget check-in video. So for today, we're gonna be checking in with the second week of December. We had a lot go on this past week, but as far as spending in general is concerned, I feel like not so bad. I went to track transactions today. I'm behind on tracking transactions, but I needed to track them for today's video, obviously, and I was pleasantly surprised. I was like, oh, okay, there's not a whole lot that's happened, so, which is nice, but also, I should say, we do use cash, which Andrew is officially beyond over using cash. He's had to run to the bank a lot because we'll forget to bring cash or something gets purchased off like online on Amazon and stuff. And so I'm not sure we'll be using cash in the new year, but it is kind of a pain, I will admit, when you purchase things online. You guys probably saw that in the last weekly check-in video when I was trying to figure out what to deposit and all that kind of stuff. So it's definitely a pain when you're purchasing things online or if you just forget your cash at home or something like that. And he is the one who goes out and does most of the shopping. I think that will be changing soon as I get caught up on my business. I'd like to start going grocery shopping as a family. I think it's really fun to all go together and everything. Um, or we might even start doing like grocery pickup again. So we haven't done grocery pickup a whole ton lately. We used to go all the time, but the stores in our area have been sold out of certain things. And sometimes whoever is doing the shopping for the grocery pickup, they'll notice that something's out of stock. And even if it says it's okay to substitute an item, they just won't fill it. So like Andrew and I noticed that, you know, if we went into the store after they said, oh, this is out of stock, there was some other version of it available. So we just started going in the store ourselves. But lately I feel like the stock's been a little bit better in our area. It just varies, you know. I think a lot of it centers too around the holidays, like around Thanksgiving. So much was sold out, it was insane. Um, but yeah. I don't know, admittedly, how all of that works, but that is partially why we stopped doing grocery pickup, but grocery pickup is extremely convenient. It's a huge time saver, so we may start doing that again, and grocery pickup doesn't use cash. You have to use a card, so anyways, I'm not sure the cash will be hanging out much longer. Andrew kind of had his breaking point with it, and he does not. He's got the patience of a saint. Andrew getting angry, like I can probably count on one hand the amount of times that I've seen him genu genuinely get angry. He is like the most calm person I've ever met in my entire life. And so he got like, not like super mad or anything, but he just got super annoyed with the cash. Like, so anyways, I, long story short, I don't think the cash will be hanging around in January, but we're gonna continue using it for the rest of December, and yeah. So anyways, enough on that. As far as bills are concerned, we did have Southwest gas come out and that was $63. So that is significantly more than what we had been paying. So I think because it's we've, and I've mentioned this before in previous videos, but we built a house and moved in in November of 2020. So we've been in this house now for a little over a year. And I think with the utilities, when you're in a new area and stuff, it just kind of takes some time to figure out like how much everything is. So Southwest Gas has assured us that we are up to date, but this might be more of the normal bill for us, especially right now because it's colder out. So we have officially turned on the heater, <laughs> um, at least for downstairs. I feel like upstairs, it's fine. I actually prefer the upstairs to be pretty chilly when we're sleeping up there. Once my office is up there, I don't know how if I'll feel that same way, but downstairs it gets really chilly so we have started putting the heater on downstairs and so this bill's you know gonna go up because of that so that came out and i think that was pretty much it as far as bills i don't know if water and trash was out already in the last check-in um state farm should be coming out at some point today but i haven't seen it yet so i'm not going to count that quite yet so let's go ahead and pop on over to our weekly check-in page i'm going to go ahead and turn images off i get a lot of questions about the pencil tip that i am using i will have it linked in the description box down below i absolutely love it and highly recommend it especially if you're someone who really likes a fine tip on your pen 
it is perfect and it's really nice for writing on glass specifically. I feel like I have so much more control over my Apple Pencil than I did with the like normal tip. So I definitely recommend this tip. I just wanted to mention that real quick because I do get questions on that quite often. So let's go ahead and use the lasso and we'll copy and paste our categories over. Yeah, we've been thinking a lot about our 2022 budget and, you know, how we want to switch things up for the new year. It's always fun having a fresh start, a new year and everything. Okay, so Andrew just got back from Costco and he did pick up quite a bit. So we already took the cash out because he forgot the cash. <laughs> he forgot the cash. So we took the cash out. I put it in my wallet. I have to go to the bank today. Um, I've got all this cash here. See all this cash that needs to be deposited. I've got some checks to like uh, birthday money for Andrew and Christmas checks and stuff. So I need to go deposit all of that. And yeah, so that's why Andrew got kind of annoyed. But anyway, so we've got 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 1, 2, and 3. 103 dollars remaining for cash, which means this past week we spent quite a bit. I'm actually a bit surprised by that. Um, let's see, so yeah. Oh, I don't know if that is right, but that is kind of insane. So we had 399 remaining last week. We have 103 remaining now. So that means this past week we spent $296. Is that even possible? I know, I know Andrew's been stocking up on a lot of stuff and he is a frugal person so I know he's not just spending money to spend it, you know. Um, but yeah, that's kind of insane that we've spent that much. So we're going to have to obviously keep a very, very close eye on that. Yikes. Okay. Kind of insane. And that is where, like, the convenience of cash is nice as far as, like, tracking transactions and stuff. I'm not having to write down every transaction in my planner. But at the same time, it's sort of nice to track each transaction in your planner and to physically see where, like, actually see visually where the money's going. Like, oh, we spent, you know, $50 here. We spent $100 here. Because then that would make more sense to me. But the fact that there's, like, almost $300 missing that we spent and I have no idea where it went is kind of... Like, I don't know, it's just, that's not good. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, I think it'll be nice starting in January to just kind of go back to tracking transactions. I'll use my color-coded expense tracking stickers and all that again. Editing Stephanie here. So I just remembered I got a question recently about how we manage our credit card transactions. And so I thought I'd do a little intermission real quick to just explain that. Um, since I'm kind of chatting about transitioning back to expense tracking stickers and all that kind of stuff. So we've been using cash for our groceries, household, entertainment, that sort of thing. But starting in January, we will start using our credit card again for those transactions. We also use our credit card for our sinking fund transactions. So the way we manage our credit card we pay it off every single month. We never let a balance carry over into the next month. And when you see the expense tracking stickers, the transaction log transactions, I am logging into my bank and literally writing down all of the transactions from our credit card. There are a couple utilities that do come out of our checking account just because it's not even possible to have a credit card pay for the bill, like our electric bill, for example, or mortgage. You can't use a credit card to pay for those types of bills, but we use our credit card for our T-Mobile bill and all of that. We are one month ahead, which essentially means that all of the income I earn from my business this month will actually pay for next month's bills. So I know at the very beginning of the month, the exact amount to the penny of what we have available and it's all available in our checking account. So what we do is we have all of our transactions, we track them throughout the month and everything and then at the end of the month I will take money from our checking account and from our sinking funds savings account where we store all of our sinking fund money and I will use that to pay off the credit card. So we never let a balance carry over. 
We never pay interest for our credit card. We just use it to get rewards, points, cash back, that sort of thing. So I just wanted to come in here real quick and plug that in because I keep forgetting <laughs> to talk about it and it's a question I've gotten pretty frequently. So I just wanted to chat about that. So I hope that kind of clears up the way that we manage our credit card. Credit cards are not for everyone. We make it a point to always pay it off and everything like that. So if you don't feel comfortable, you know, or disciplined enough quite yet to use a credit card, I do recommend sticking with cash or using your debit card, something like that. But that is just how we personally manage it. If you'd like me to go into all of that in more detail, how we manage our bank accounts and all that kind of stuff, definitely let me know in the comments down below. I feel like it's a little too much to go into all of that right now, but I at least wanted to kind of come in and chat a little bit about the credit card transactions since, like I said, I'm already talking about transitioning back to expense tracking stickers and all that. So the, the transactions you see in the transaction log, the transactions you see in the expense tracking stickers, I am getting those transactions from our credit card activity. So Hopefully that makes sense, but if you have any questions at all, definitely let me know in the comments down below. And now we will get back to the budget check-in. We, you know, we, we flip-flop between cash and not using cash and stuff. I don't see us using cash again in the future. I think we wanted to really just tighten the reins when I quit my full-time job and make sure we were good, but I feel like we're still good about spending and not like blowing our budget entirely every single month even without cash. So, um, so yeah, anyways, that'll be good. Um, for household, we do not have anything left in household. So we had $40 remaining last week. So that means that we spent $40 this past week. And again, no idea where that went. <laughs> so it'll be nice, I think, to just track transactions, you know, with the expense tracking stickers and all of that. I think it'll help as far as knowing like the specifics of what's gone on. For gas, we have not um, we have not filled up again. So we still have 59.68 remaining. And then for entertainment, we did use some of that, was that for, yeah, for Maddie's birthday dinner or something. We did dinner one night. And so I think we only have, let's see, we only have $40 remaining in entertainment, which that'll be good because this Saturday we're going to go to Zoo Lights with our friends. And I'm sure they're probably going to have like little souvenirs or hot chocolate or something like that. So we can use this money for that little outing. So that'll be nice. But yeah, we've got $40 remaining in entertainment and last week we had 71 remaining so that means we spent $31 this week all right and then unbudgeted we did not have any unbudgeted expenses always a good thing so that is zero and we are all good to go there so the next thing I wanted to go over was just our sinking funds and what's going on there. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this cash back in here. We are all good to go there. All right, so sinking funds. We have just had a couple transactions since we last left off. And yeah, that money was used for Freddy's. I could not remember if we like used cash or if we used card to pay for it, but I don't have it tracked here, so we must have used cash. So that's where that money went. But Anyways, um, so I did take Maddie to go get her nails done for her birthday. That was $50. I also tipped the um, gal that fixed my thumbnails for me. Um, it was just really sweet of her to do that. She was really hesitant to take a tip and I was like, please, like you just invested your time, like you spent your time doing it and she really took her time doing it. So I was really happy with that. So I did give her a tip as well and then um, the lady who did Maddie's nails did an amazing job with her. It was really, really fun. Maddie loved every single second of it. So yeah, that was $50. And then we had to pick up some candles the day of Maddie's birthday party because we forgot candles <laughs> for her cake. So that was $216 for that. 
and then I took Maddie clothing um, shopping. We went to Kohl's. So I think I mentioned in a recent video, I took her to Target recently to get like jeans and sweaters and just things for winter time because she had a growth spurt. Now all of her jeans are too short for her, too tight on her and everything. So I went to Target originally, found nothing. They had nothing. They had a ton of shorts, which is so random because it's winter time, but they had zero jeans. And I took her to Kohl's and Kohl's was like, oh, <laughs> like, they had so much cute stuff. And my grandma had shared a 30% off coupon with us. So we were able to get a whole bunch of stuff. I got her two pairs of jeans. I got her some Christmas jammies, which are super cute. They have little unicorns on them. And if you know Maddie and her style, like she's all about the unicorns and stuff like that. So we got her some Christmas jammies. We got her a sweater and something else. What else did we get her? Oh, a couple flannel like shirts, um, like plaid shirts with like little glitter on them. Just really, really cute. So we were able to get her quite a bit of stuff for $72 and 31 cents, 21 cents. So yeah, not too shabby. And she is all set for the winter now, which is nice. Jules is all set for winter because we found a little bin of some 3T clothes that were hand-me-downs from Maddie. So that was a relief because I, we could not find like all of these clothes. I was like, I know we have I mean, we bought Maddie and family and friends bought Maddie so many clothes when she was little. And there, I was just like, there's no way that we don't have more 3T stuff. Like, I know we do somewhere. And sure enough, we found it in the garage. So Julia is all set. It's like finding gold, you guys. When you can find hand-me-downs for your younger one with like the size you need and then the season that you need as well, it's like... I was so relieved. We also found a big bin of shoes that fit Jules perfectly. So now she's got boots and tennis shoes and Christmas shoes and all sorts of things. So she is set to go, which is nice. So anyways, that is pretty much it for this weekly budget check-in. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope December is going great for you guys. And yeah, groceries, we're going to have to keep a close eye on for sure. But other than that, I feel like we're doing pretty good. So let me know how your month is going for you. What goals are you working on this month? I'd love to chat with you about that in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to catch all my future videos. I will see you guys tomorrow for the digital plan with me this week. Enjoy the rest of your day and I will chat with you all later. Bye.